Over the next few minutes, we will explain what SageBound feeds are and show you how they work. SageBound feeds make it easy to keep your books accurate and up-to-date. You can save time by automatically downloading bank or credit card transactions into Sage50. After connecting your Sage50 company with your bank or credit card, Sage50 downloads the transactions from your financial institution. Then, Sage50 tries to match existing transactions with those downloaded. Additionally, you can find a match manually or easily create a new transaction using the downloaded data. Let's see how to connect to SageBank feeds, how to match transactions manually, and how to easily create transactions using the downloaded data. To connect to SageBank feeds, go to the banking page in Sage50, click the Match Bank Transactions drop-down menu, and select Connect to SageBank feeds. You could also connect from the Match Transactions window by clicking Connect to SageBank feeds or from the Bank Transactions page in the Company Settings. We will select the option from the banking page. If this is the first time you're connecting an account to bank feeds in the Sage50 company, enter and confirm your email address. Accept the terms and conditions and click Get Started. If needed, confirm the information in the reCAPTCHA box. Select your bank, either from the popular banks or by typing the name from other banks. Click Next. Then, enter your online banking login information. If applicable, answer the security questions. And if asked, select the bank account you want to connect. Verify and change if needed the date for retrieving historical transactions. The date is set to three months in the past by default. Click Process. Once connected to the bank account, click Finish to complete the setup. You can now select the Sage50 account to use to auto-match transactions. Depending on the bank, authorization may take a while. After the connection has been authorized, you can get transactions from the bank. Please note that you only need to follow the steps to connect to the bank once for each account. After the account is connected, you can just download transactions. In our example, the bank has authorized the connection. Let's download the transactions. Sage50 tries to match existing transactions with those downloaded. If a match is found, the transaction is displayed as automatically match. If a match is not found, you can either find one manually or create a new transaction in Sage50. Next, we'll see how to manually match a transaction. Click Find Match by the transaction. Sage50 displays transactions dated within the 30 days prior to the imported transaction date and for the same amount. If the transaction you want to match appears, put a check mark in the first column, then click OK. You can follow the same steps to match the remaining transactions. Let's now see how to create a new transaction in Sage50 using the downloaded data. You can create bank charges and transfers, purchase invoices and payments, other payments, credit card bill payments, sales invoices and receipts, and general journal entries from the downloaded transactions. To support these features, the linked account settings for general accounts include a section for imported transactions. The two accounts in this section are used when creating new transactions from the imported statements. We will select two accounts, one for charges and one for income. Then, click OK to save the changes. We are now ready to start creating transactions. From the Match Transactions window, click the drop-down menu by Find Match, choose Create Transaction, and select the type of transaction to create. If working with a withdrawal transaction, you can process bank charges and transfers, purchase invoices and payments, other payments, credit card bill payments, and general journal entries. If we select Bank Charges, Sage50 helps us to create a general journal entry using the account we selected for churches in the settings. If we select Bank Transfer, Sage50 opens the Transfer Funds window.
If we select Purchase Invoice, we can select the vendor, the payment method, the tax, the expense account, and enter the Purchase Invoice number. You can then complete the invoice. If we select Pay Purchase Invoices, we can select the vendor, the payment method, and verify the source. You can then complete the invoice payment. If we select Make Other Payment, we can select the vendor, the payment method, the tax code, the expense account, and verify the source. You can then complete the payment. If we select Pay Credit Card Bill, the next step is to select the credit card and the payment method. Verify the source and enter any fees and interest. You can then complete the payment. If we select General Journal, Sage 50 opens the General Journal with a bank account selected. If working with a deposit transaction, you can process bank interest and transfers, sales invoices and receipts, and general journal entries. If we select Bank Interest, Sage50 helps us creating a general journal entry using the account we selected for income in the settings. If we select Bank Transfer, Sage50 opens the Transfer Funds window. You can complete the missing information and process the transaction. If we select Sales Invoices, you can then select the customer, the payment method, the tax, the revenue account, and verify the sales invoice number. You can then complete the transaction. If we select Receipt, we can select the customer, the payment method, and verify the receipt number. You can then finish processing the receipt. If we select General Journal, Sage50 opens the General Journal with the bank account selected. When you finish matching and creating new transactions, you can save the information and optionally open the account reconciliation window. Let's save the information and close the window. You can now finish reconciling the account. To support bank feeds, an option has been added to the maintenance menu. If you wish to remove imported bank transactions, go to Maintenance, then Clear Data, and select Clear Bank Transactions. Select the bank account and the On or Before date, and click OK. Click Yes to continue deleting the data. Remember, with Sage Bank Feeds, you can save a considerable amount of time when entering transactions. You can connect Sage50 to your bank or credit card financial institution to easily match the downloaded transactions and to create transactions using the downloaded data. You now know what Sage Bank Feeds are and how they work. <music>